Nearly two decades since construction began, the end could be in sight for the building dubbed the I-4 Eyesore. Work on the Majesty Building along I-4 and Altamont Springs started in 2001. And now, years later, it's still coming together. Channel 9's Lynn Keyes got a tour of the building today to get an update on construction. And he was told the project is now in what's being called the finishing phase. And that confidence comes with the help of a more than $20 million boost to construction funding. Fast forward a year, and I'm told this pretty well-known building will finally be done. A view from the top. Let's face it, man, there's a billion dollar asset right there in front of you. From the man who set out to construct this building that now towers over I-4 in Altamont Springs without any debt. We started debt free and uh, we're going to finish debt free. That lofty goal has in part led to an unfinished building for nearly two decades. But Claude Bowers tells me a change is finally coming. They now expect to move in within eight to 12 months. What would you say to the people that say, hey, you know, we've heard that before many times? Well, I don't think I've ever given exact moving date, but yeah, we just had to work with uh, reality, to, you know, on the ground at that time. On the ground, there's a visible uptick in construction as crews finish this 1,000-car parking garage. It's what Bauer says is the last major outside piece before they start work on the inside. And that's where he gave us a tour of several floors of the 18-story building that will eventually house Super Channel 55 along with massive retail and office space. We're just all ready for the cosmetic work now, the tile and the glass and the and the build out. It's progress on a nearly 20 year project that Bowers is confident will make the I-4 eyesore references fade away. We just have to let the store develop and yeah. let the building turn into a beautiful building. Right now, the plan is to start work on the inside in about a month. So far, the cost for this project tops $40 million. Reporting in Altamont Springs, Lynn Keyes, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. I had that same tour with Lynn Keyes. It's been so long ago, I cannot remember. Mm -hmm how long ago it was. was yeah. It looked basically the same. So we hope that it gets done. We'll see. Imagine the uh, groundbreaking or ribbon cutting when that finally happens. Yeah, the groundbreaking or ribbon cutting separated by like three decades. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see what happens.